Hello and welcome to this week's Bolsover TV. My name's Michael. Here are the headlines. Council leader Steve Fritchley welcomes government minister to Shirebrook. Older people and those with long-term health conditions can now get a helping hand with their exercise regimes. Seven former councillors have been bestowed with the honour of honorary aldermen for their dedicated years of service. And a hot thought man has written a book recollecting his childhood spent in the area. But first, the past 18 months has had a significant impact on local economies across Britain. The number of private sector businesses in the UK fell by nearly 390,000 in 2020, bringing the total number of British firms at the start of 2021 to its lowest level since 2016. These recent figures, published by the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy, show that there were 5.6 million private sector businesses at the start of the year, some 6.5% less than the previous year. However, the decline was largely driven by the disappearance of unregistered businesses, meaning those that are not registered for VAT or PAYE. But that's not the case for Bolsover District, which is a hotbed for entrepreneurs and independent businesses, as the district has a significantly higher proportion of independent businesses than national chains, occupying the town and village centres. In fact, figures show a positive uptake in business unit rental in two of the four town centres. Shirebrook has 11% of business units available to rent. That's down 2% from 2020. And Clown has just 4% available, down 1% from the previous year. Following this trend, Creswell has seen the biggest change with 18% of units available down a whopping 10% and Pinkston stands at 9% which is down 3% from the year before. However, this doesn't mean that local businesses have it easy with footfall dropping an average of 30% due to pre-pandemic levels. That's something that Cabinet Member for Economic Development Councillor Liz Smith wants to address. It is. We are bucking the trend here in Bolsover District. Uh, we've got more uh, small and medium-sized businesses taking more units in more of our towns than anywhere else in the UK at the minute. But that doesn't surprise me because our local businesses are clever, they're smart, they're entrepreneurial and they're really resilient. They always have been. I think this district has always had to fight its own battles and I think that our business people here really are very savvy and incredibly resilient. You know, we've got an awful lot of independent businesses here, uh, you know, businesses that provide goods and services and obviously brilliant local retailers. You know, I'm stood here in Shirebrook today, you can get pretty much everything you need in life right here in this town. You don't have to go anywhere else. We have developed brilliant relationships with our businesses over the 18 months. They know us really well. We know them really well. And I would say that if any business out there has got a good idea, go for it. You know, you've proved that you can do it. You've, you're bucking the national trend. If you want some advice, the economic development team are always there. Uh, they can advise you on the technicalities of that new business venture or even, you know, any funding streams that may well be available. Now, as we get older, it's a common factor that our bodies slow down. We aren't as flexible and we can't do what we were once able to. But the council is looking to reverse this trend and help those with limited movement or suffering from a range of health problems with its launch of the exciting new wellness hub. Designed for older adults and those living with long-term health conditions, the suite boasts 12 power-assisted exercise machines supplied by UK manufacturer Shapemaster. The power assisted exercise technology provides a helping hand to exercisers, giving them a low impact, full body circuit workout. I went along to the launch day to take a look at what was on offer and speak to some of those involved. Yeah, the wellness up is something we created uh, through some COVID recovery funding. Basically, it's power assisted shape master kit. And basically what happens is anybody can get referred through our program. So if they meet a certain criteria, they'll be accessed this room for 12 weeks. It's a brand new facility, what we've opened. Um, it accommodates people, cancer rehab, cardiac rehab, pulmonary rehab. The, the biggest thing now, certainly with the pandemic, is the social side. We're here to support and qualified to support them. But in the, in the grand scheme of things, that the social aspect of this room as well is going to be massive for them. It's going to be an highlight of the week, which we've been told in some of the feedback we've received. What do you think of the machines? You've been here for a bit of time. Have you used many of them? I've used almost all and I think they're great. 
you've got the social side, but also the fact that you've got the instructors and an organised class. So, uh, because some of the machines aren't appropriate for, for my injuries, but others are. So. It's absolutely wonderful. It's really good. Really good. Located on the former colliery site, 12 properties on Keepmoats Meadow View development have been allocated to the First Home Scheme, where local and key workers who are first-time buyers can purchase a house at a 30% discount. Six months after the then Housing Minister Robert Jenrick visited Shirebrook, Council Leader Steve Fritchley welcomed the new Housing Minister Christopher Pincher to the town to see the progress being made on the scheme. NHS ICT worker Nikki Bembridge is the latest to buy a property on the development through the First Home Scheme and is now preparing to move in. Council leader Steve Fritchley said, Schemes like this can only be beneficial to local residents and I would like to see it extended so more people in our local communities can get on to the housing ladder. This scheme has been really popular with thousands of inquiries which shows that there is a demand for this type of housing project in Bolsover District. It's always good to welcome government ministers to the area to see what we're doing and how they may be able to help us regenerate and develop the district. The community came out in force at Hilcote on Saturday the 27th of November as they turned on their Christmas lights. Organised by the Hilcote Environmental and Leisure Projects groups, members of the community were treated to Christmas songs, free mulled wine, mince pies and selection boxes for the children. Seven former councillors received the title Honorary Alderman for their dedication and service to the council and its communities at a special ceremony. Pauline Bomer from Plesley and Syrit from Stainsby, Tony Bennett from Bolsover, Malcolm Crane from Hillstown, Brian Murray Carr from Shirebrook, Ken Walker from Shirebrook and Jim Smith from Clown received the honour in view of them each giving over 16 years service as an elected member. Between them, these long-serving ex-councillors accumulated over 120 years' worth of service as elected members and had all played their part in helping to drive forward change at the council, revitalising their local communities and helping to regenerate the district. And finally, a Hodthorpe man has written a book recollecting his childhood spent in the area. Born in Hodthorpe and raised in Whitwell, Phil Middleton threw himself into local life and the book focuses on events and places that many locals will remember. Phil decided to publish the book with a local publisher from Whitwell and officially launched it at Whitwell Christmas Fair where he sold signed copies and then also had the honour of switching on the village Christmas lights. We spoke to Phil about his book and what he thinks people will enjoy when reading it. The book itself is uh, a result of a, a conversation that took place in our office um, 11 years ago when I retired. And it started out with a bunch of us seeing how far back we could remember from the villages we actually grew up in. And I wrote about four sides of A4 and thought that would be it. Um, after that, I went home left it for weeks and eventually decided this might be a good exercise to actually do as a, as a thing to keep me busy in retirement. So that's what we did and now 10 years later it's finished. So it grew and grew into something that um, started out small but I'm proud of it, it's great. It covers works up Whitwell, Hodthorpe, the businesses, the families, the characters, the people that I grew up with and that many people around the, the villages will remember and talk of even now. As I say, I like to think of it as a tool that people can look at and maybe it'll stir them up to think, oh yeah, I did that or I was at that school or I did, I did my shopping in that shop and maybe it'll just trigger them off to have some nice thoughts about the place and maybe do their own little bit of reminiscing as well. Well, that certainly looks like an interesting read. I look forward to getting my hands on a copy very, very soon. That's all we've got time for this week. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you next week on Bolsover TV. Goodbye.